Okay, so we're in week seven, and this is chapter seven in the textbook. We're going to talk about networking and connecting computing devices. I'm just making sure I'm recording. And some of the learning objectives of this chapter are to describe computer networks and their pros and cons. And so we already kind of talked about that, right? We talked about the pros. We like networks because they allow us to share information and to share physical resources, right? Those are the two benefits of networks, share information, share physical resources. So we could share a printer. Uh, and, uh, and then the, the cons are that, you know, like what are the cons of networks? They allow more criminal activity to occur in a different way. Uh, so, you know, you might download a whole bunch of intellectual property or you might break into somebody else's systems and, you know, do corporate espionage, um, right? So networks kind of open up some cons in that way. When you look at like the networks of social networks, like that movie, The Social Dilemma, we talked about that in the last video, um, right? Like the way that these networks are creating filter bubbles and only reinf and reinforcing people's perspectives uh, so that they think that they have, you know, that they have the truth and that's getting reinforced for them. It's creating a lot of social trouble in the world. So positives and negatives to networks. Explain the different ways networks are defined. So that's like a LAN, a WAN, a local area network, a wide area network. Describe the types of transmission media used in networks. So transmission media used in networks, I don't know, we'll see what the textbook says about that. Uh, hardware devices, you know, like routers and different types of cables. Uh, describe the type of software. So there's different software for networks. We'll look at a little bit of that, I guess, in this chapter. Summarize the broadband options available to access the internet. I don't know, broadband, narrowband, ISPs, internet service providers. How to access the internet wirelessly so you set up your Wi-Fi router. What should be considered before creating a home network? How to set up a home network. Describe the potential problems with wireless networks and then means to avoid them. Describe how to secure wireless home networks. So anything uh, connected to a network is called a node. We didn't go over that term, but you know, a node is any device, router, computer, or otherwise connected to a network. And the benefits of networks, you can see it's all about sharing. A disadvantage of network, they have here set up an administration, but there's more. How data moves through networks, we've got the bandwidth, right? The maximum speed at which data can be transmitted. Uh, throughputs, the actual speed data is transferred. And speed is measured in megabits per second or gigabits per second. It's not bytes, it's bits. And so it's, you know, a factor of eight less than bytes. And then we have pans, lands, wans, and they also put in hands and mans. All you ever really hear is lan and wan. And, uh, and then here we talk about uh, architecture, client server versus peer to peer. So we already discussed that. And you kind of have a picture there. And, you know, in a peer to peer network, each node on the network is sometimes a peer and sometimes a client. Sometimes a client, sometimes a server, right? They fulfill both roles at different times. And then classifying networks by protocols. So, protocols are rules of communication. And, uh, you know, Ethernet, wireless, Wi Fi, um, different protocols, TCP, IP. Um, and different network components for wireless routers, right? So there's a router. I don't know, most of the stuff we've gone over. And then we have how we connect devices. We connect them wirelessly or we connect them with wires. And if we're going to do wires, we've got twisted pair. There is A. We've got coaxial is B. And we have fiber optic as C. So that's wired connection. And then the wireless connection would be the Wi-Fi router. And uh, other basic hardware is like you have a network interface card, which is kind of like each computer has a way to interface uh, with the network. And it's on a card, which is like a, uh, you know, silicon chips and stuff on a piece of kind of cardboard material that plugs into your computer. Uh, or it's built into the computer now. And then modems, routers, and switches. So modem, we learned about modulate, demodulate. A switch is like a less complicated router. A switch kind of sends everything out to, uh, doesn't, a switch doesn't find out the best path. A router will find out the best path to get the message to the destination. A switch just chooses a path. 
uh, operating system for peer-to-peer -peer networking. So different uh, software for networks, client service net server networks. Um, so there's different software for that. Um, how to uh, a home network, you can share the internet connection, you gotta purchase internet access from an internet service provider and it's often called broadband and you could also do cellular connections. And so broadband could be cable internet, digital subscriber line, DSL or fiber optic, which is the fastest and the best. And uh, you could use you know, your cell phone to get internet access because you have internet access on your cell phone. So you could set up a personal hotspot and then that allows you to, um, you know, uh, that allows you to connect devices to your phone and use the internet access through your phone. So that's a nice little nifty trick. And uh, just taking a look at these things here, routers and switches, we kind of went over that already. And a network uh, attached storage and NAS device allows you to store things on a series of hard drives connected to your network. So that's one type of specialized home networking device. And Wi-Fi range max is about 350 feet. Walls, floors, and large metal objects um, are sources of interference with wireless signals. And uh, you could put, buy a range extender, which amplifies wireless router signal. And then to secure your Wi-Fi network, you want to use encryption and security protocols. You want to change your network name, your SSID, and disable the SSID broadcast and change the default password and create a passphrase. And so you could also uh, do limit it by MAC address, um, MAC media access control. So you can do all that in your Wi-Fi settings, your router settings. So 192.168.11, you can Google whatever your router name is and ask for admin control panel. And then in there, you can go in and start to change some of these settings, which is pretty cool. And then that's it for networks. So that's chapter seven and that's week seven. And uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty cool stuff. I encourage you to read the chapter just to dive into the details a little bit more. But the overview that you got with networks both last week and this week um, is more than sufficient for this introductory class. All right. Hope you're doing well. If you uh, have any questions or concerns, uh, message me on Canvas. All right. See you next week.